turn around and there are these gigantic windows that face out to the launch pad. Dr. Devis and Dr. Von Braun and the whole row one people were standing up and looking out and it was, it was a fait accompli. And then came the real fun. Four, three, two, one. It was really a magic time and mission control there because if there was one thing that I'm extremely proud of in my life is to listen to people making their calls. I mean, these people are so professional, so competent, so, so on top of the job that you sit down and say, this team has approached perfection in this business. And I talk to the team that basically, from the day we were born, we were meant to be here this day. Uh, this day we're going to do something that has never been done. Whatever happens, I will stand behind every decision you will make. And we came into this room as a team, and we will leave as a team. And I said something that uh, really hit home to a large number of people. I says, uh, GC, go to battle short. And when we go to battle short, we block the power breakers coming into the building, and we lock all doors. And from that moment, this team in this room, there's only three outcomes before those doors would be open. We'd either land, we would crash, or we had abort. And it's now up to us. Even though I realize that this is, in some measure, an act of faith and vision, for we do not now know what benefits await us. But if I were to say, my fellow citizens, that we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston, a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses several times more than have ever been experienced, and do all this and do it right, and do it first, this dictator's out, then we must be bold. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 